So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the greatest watch market update show in the world. Unbelievable, but true. You know, me and Kino always try to bring you what's really, really happening out there in the Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market. Unbelievable, but true, but we do. Unbelievable. And today, Kino has lined up an unbelievable watch market update show for you guys. But before I get into the watch market update, I want to talk to you a little bit about the subject of a subscriber that wrote to me. And this subscriber wrote to me and asked me that, you know, every time that he leaves a message to one of those Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market channels, he never can see it. You know, he feels like it's been, you know, blocked or deleted or, or uh, banned or whatever you want to call it. And I want you guys to know something about Opus and Time Watches. In this channel, in this channel, we're never going to block, delete, or ban, or most of all, screen any of your comments. Whatever you want to write down as a comment in this channel, you may do so. I'm never going to ban you. I'm never going to block you. I'm never going to delete you. And I'm never, never going to screen any of your comments. This channel is 100% organic. I'm going to step out of character today to talk to you, to you in a very serious way. You know, I don't want you guys to think that I am gonna ever block any of your comments. I'm never, I welcome every single comment, good or bad, okay? So you're welcome to leave any comment. You're welcome to blow steam in this channel. This channel is for you guys to blow steam, to disagree with me, to disagree with Kino. I believe you like Kino. I went back into character, I'm sorry. Anyway, so you can leave any comment you want. I, I wanna let also know a lot of beginners, they're doing YouTube channels. I want you guys to know that every time that someone leaves a comment that you don't like in your new YouTube channel or your channel, whatever you wanna call it, and you ban them, you block them and you delete them, or you scream, whatever it is, I want you to know that the algorithm looks into you and puts you all the way down, all the way down in the bottom of the barrel. That's right. So your video will never be on top. It will be all the way down in the bottom, okay? So if you're planning to do a YouTube channel, don't do that. Don't ban people. Don't block people. Don't delete people. Don't do none of that. You're just hurting your channel. That's what you're doing. You know, I shouldn't be telling you this, but I feel like I have to tell you this because this is a 100% organic channel. We have a 100% organic channel here. And I want you to know that these channels that have 500,000 subscribers, 600,000 subscribers, 400,000 subscribers, and they only get 12,000 views, you should know by now that that's a fake channel. You should know that people, right? So again, whenever you want to blow steam and you want to disagree with me or with Kino, come to our channel and blow some steam. We're not going to block you. We're not going to ban you. We're not going to delete you. We're not going to screen your, your comment before we publish it. It's there. Do whatever you want. I welcome, I welcome all those comments, good or bad, bad or good. I'll tell you another thing. If you use any kind of foul language, it ain't me. It ain't me. It's the, the platform of YouTube. It's just not going to let that, that message go through because you're using foul language. But if not, it can also be there too as well. Understand? So I just wanted to let you guys know about that subject. The gentleman called me up and told me that he tried to put down on one of those channels and several channels that the secondary gray watch market is dead, that the watch market is dead, and he can never see his comment. And I explained to him why, because they block him, they ban him, they delete him, and they screen the comments before they publish. So there it is, I stepped out of character to tell you about this, and also to you new YouTubers out there. It's not a good thing to block uh, subscribers or viewers or delete or ban you're just gonna go to the bottom of the barrel all the way down you know like the record all the way down 
All right? So let's go into my magical intro. So, Jeremy, I'm back with the watch market update. Unbelievable. This Kino has lined up an unbelievable watch market update for you guys out there. Unbelievable. Our first watch is the Patek Philippe Rose Gold 5980 Nautilus. You know, 45 days ago, they uh, discontinued a bunch of the Nautilus line. A bunch of them. And one of them that got discontinued was the 5980 Rose Gold. You know, in the hype, that watch was over $400,000, and then it died. It was dead in water. You know, it went down to like a, a buck $40,000, $140,000. And 45 days ago, 60 days ago, they declared that, that watch was discontinued. And everybody went bananas, bananas. Even the ones that were holding on to them put a price tag of $210,000, $220,000. That's right. This is the 5980 Rose Gold Patek Philippe. Fully, fully Rose Gold. Unbelievable looking watch. The retail price of that watch, the retail price of that watch is $108,820. That's right. That's right. And like I told you, that watch had one moment in the hype, you know? And the Corona, and the Corona era was over $400,000, $400,000. And I'm gonna tell you now, after this hype of the discontinued watch models, don't pay, and I mean don't pay. I mean, you do whatever you want. We're talking about huge slighted condition materials in this channel. In this channel, we're talking about huge slighted condition material watches. And I'm gonna have to tell you, don't pay for that Patek 5980 Rose Gold. Don't pay more than $155,000. And bam, unbelievable, the watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Our next watch, is the Patek Philippe Rose Gold Nautilus 5711. I don't wanna to talk to you about what happened when the hype was going on, when the Corona era, none of that stuff. I'm just gonna tell you what's happening with this watch. This watch, when they were saying that it will get discontinued, it's gonna go over $475,000. And then the watch just died in water. It died in water. It went down to 130, 140, 150 thousand dollars. Unbelievable. The retail price of that watch, and I repeat, the retail price of that Patek 5711 Rose Gold is $59,140. I repeat, the retail price of that watch is $59,140. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. If you want to continue maintaining these people, that's up to you. If you want to continue being window lickers, lollipop suckers, crayon eaters, that's up to you. Don't be a tomato can. The watch market is dead. He <laughs> dead. He dead. And I'm going to have to tell you, don't pay more for that beautiful Patek Philippe 5711. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more than $145,000 and bang, unbelievable, the watch market is dead. Our next watch is the Adamas Piquet Stainless Steel Panda. Unbelievable. In that Corona era, that watch was over $100,000. Did you hear that? The Adamas Piquet Panda Stainless Steel. Unbelievable. Reference number 26331. That's right. It has a retail price. It has a retail price of $33,800. It is a 41 millimeter. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want. It's your money. It's your pocket. And you spend it the way you want to spend it. But me and Kino here to tell you what we think you should pay for that watch. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay more for that beautiful panda, you know, from Adamas Piquet. Stainless steel, 41 millimeter, don't pay more than $36,000 and bang, unbelievable the watch market is dead. Bang, unbelievable. Kino, está muerto esto, ¿verdad, papá? Se jodió. Dead. Unbelievable. The next watch is the Rolex Sky Dweller. Unbelievable that Rolex Sky Dweller. Unbelievable. 42 millimeter, rose gold. 
Unbelievable with a chocolate down. Unbelievable with a chocolate down. Reference number 326135. It has a retail price. And this watch right here has been offered to me brand new. Fully, fully sticker. You're going to go like this. Oh my. Unbelievable. Oh my. The retail price of that watch. The retail price of that watch is $43,500. That's right. I'm not even going to tell you what that watch was at one moment. I'm not even going to tell you that. I'm not going to go that route. But I am going to tell you. Don't pay for that beautiful Rolex Sky Dweller Rose Gold with a chocolate dial. Don't pay more. I mean, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. But don't pay for that beautiful new Sky Dweller chocolate dial. More than $27,000 in Gentlemen, and I mean gentlemen, the watch market is dead. Our next watch is the Rolex Sky Dweller Rose Gold with a blue dial. Unbelievable. When that watch first came out, it was over $80,000. Over $80,000. And there was a real big long line of window liquors, lollipop suckers, tomato cans, and crayon eaters ready to pay the over $80,000. Unbelievable with you. Unbelievable. I mean, you do whatever you want. It's your money. It's your money. You do whatever you want. And ladies and gentlemen, the reference number on this beautiful blue sky dweller is the 336935. And it has a retail price of $57,500. And like I said, it was over, over $80,000. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want. But don't pay more for that beautiful Rolex Sky Dweller Rose Gold Blue Dial with a 42 millimeter case. Don't pay more than $59,000 and popping, pop, pop, popping. Unbelievable. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable. 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 The next watch is the Adamas Piquet Royal Oak. Unbelievable. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable. Yellow gold with a blue dial. What a combination. What a combination. Unbelievable. Beautiful combination. I think it's one of the most beautiful combinations AP has. Yellow gold with a blue dial. And this is the 15202. Jumbo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable looking watch. The retail price on that watch is $70,000. $500. This watch was over, over $200,000. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. If you guys want to keep on giving money away, that's up to you. But you can give it away to another cause, you know, like the dogs, you know, animals, something like that, you know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but true. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay more for that beautiful, for that beautiful AP Royal Oak. Reference 15202. Don't pay more than $92,000 in bopping, bop, bop, bopping. Unbelievable. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable. The next watch is an Adamas Piquet. Royal Oak. Rose Gold. 15500 Unbelievable. Not converted. The real McCoy. The real McCoy. Unbelievable looking uh, Adamas Piquet. Royal Oak 15500. 41 millimeter. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. With a black dial. This has a retail price of $42,200. And this watch at one moment in the Corona era was over, over $100,000. That's right. Over $100,000. Unbelievable, but true. And you had all these Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market channels making a ton of money out of you lollipop suckers out there. You guys are a bunch of window lakers. You guys gotta stop being window lakers. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Don't get offended with me. But me and Kino here to tell you the truth. No way Kino. De que si papi, coño. This Kino's unbelievable. And I'm gonna have to tell you, don't pay for that AP Royal Oak 15500 Rose Gold with a black dial. Don't pay more. I mean, you do whatever you want. 
but don't pay more than $53,000 and bam, 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 bam. Unbelievable. Watch market is dead, man. Watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we're going to talk about a watch that a lot of people here were, were going crazy with this dial. And this is the Rolex Datejust Two Tone. This is a used slider condition material watches. Use. This watch is from 2014. Beautiful day just. Stainless steel or yellow gold. Unbelievable. And the reference number of this watch, it's an unbelievable reference number. You know what? I'm not even going to give you the reference number. It's just the Wimbledon. Let's just call it the Wimbledon dial. You know, and it has a retail price of over $15,000. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you Wimbledon lovers, don't pay for that watch. And I mean, don't pay for that Wimbledon more than $9,200. And I don't even want to waste, uh, I don't even want to waste my breath, but got me, okay? Unbelievable. The next watch is the Vacheron Constantin. The Vacheron Constantin. Unbelievable, the Vacheron Constantin. Unbelievable. Stainless steel with the most beautiful blue dial in the watch game. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about used slider condition materials in this channel. Keep that in mind, okay? Use. Vacheron, stainless steel overseas. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, the 4500V. Unbelievable. Has a retail price of $25,000. $25,000 for the most beautiful blue dial in the watch game. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, again, you do whatever you want, but the watch market is dead in the backyard, pulling floating face down like this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't pay for that beautiful Bacheron Constantin Overseas 4500V. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $22,000 and bam, 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 the watch market is dead. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable, the truth. Unbelievable. The next watch is the Patek Philippe. Unbelievable. Patek Philippe Nautilus. White gold, the 5740. This watch has a retail price of $152,000. And at the height, this watch was over, over. Unbelievable, that kilo. The kilo's unbelievable. Unbelievable, that kilo. Gentlemen, and I mean gentlemen, this watch at the Corona height was over $500,000. And there was a real big, long line of window lickers, crayon eaters, and tomato cans ready to pay the half a melon. Half a melon for that watch. Half a melon. That's right. Unbelievable. That Paddock 5740 Nautilus White Gold. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay more. I mean, you do whatever you want, but don't pay more than $196,000. And bam, 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 bam. Watch market is dead. I'm going to go dancing later on. <laughs> Unbelievable, unbelievable, wonderful dancing. Cha, 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 cha. Our next watch is the Richard Mill. Unbelievable, that Richard Mill, the RM. You know, the RM010, limited edition to 80 pieces. I'm not even gonna tell you what this watch costs. I'm gonna tell you what, what it was in the Corona era. A watch was over $300,000, that's right. This RM010 is a Le Mans, limited to 80 pieces. Unbelievable looking watch, rose gold. Unbelievable looking watch. I gotta get ready because I'm gonna go out. I wanna go dancing, you know? Unbelievable. So, and like I said, it was over $300,000 at one moment in the Corona Lollipop Sucker era. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And I'm gonna have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you do whatever you want, but don't pay more. Don't pay more. I mean, gentlemen, gentlemen, 
don't pay more than one hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars in damn watch market debt. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You do whatever you want with your money. It's your money, and you spend it the way you want to spend it. But I want you guys to know, in behalf of Kino and I, unbelievable that Kino. Unbelievable that Kino. Gentlemen, and I mean gentlemen, the watch market is dead. That's what I got to say. I want to wish you guys a fabulous weekend. Fabulous weekend. I hope you enjoy what I had to say and you learn something to defend yourself from all these flim flammers that have fleeced you for too long until Kino, Kino and I came along. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And if you want to, you can share it too as well. And gentlemen, take care and brush your hair.